hey guys so in this video i'll be solving this challenge called calendar module so we'll be uh, learning to use uh, this calendar module so inside this uh, we can see <coughs> we can right click and uh, see in the new tab the documentation of calendar so it is basically about uh, generating a calendar how we can generate and there are uh, different methods related to this uh, calendar module uh, there is a uh, weekdays uh, so i mean there are a lot of things uh, to be frank we have to use this uh, so i think they have given this test calendar uh, we we will be using uh, which one we will be using uh, this one calendar dot weekday we will be using in this uh, exercise uh, one more thing i want to point here is uh, for calendar module zero is monday and uh, it goes till uh, 6 so 0 to 6 0 is monday 6th is sunday so that is also something we will use now uh, let's go and see what it says so this is a class uh, calendar dot text um, uh, calendar which we have seen before here so you can read more about this uh, the sample code here uh, tells something uh, first I'll read this the calendar module allows you to output calendars and provides additional information useful information for them so you can do uh, different things with calendars but basically you will uh, you'll play around with calendar uh, now this this class is used to generate plain text calendars uh, example here you can see uh, first it imported the calendar uh, uh, library then uh, okay in inside calendar it is calling uh, text calendar method uh, and it is giving uh, setting the first week a day as a uh, six so six means sunday so it should start with sunday you can see here sunday 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 each day first week is uh, sunday sunday so every time it is starting from sunday every month is starting from sunday so that is how you arranged if you will write here a zero means it will start from monday here then monday all the way till sunday so that's how i will show you <coughs> how it works uh, now here they have given uh 2015 calendar so you can see a whole calendar here and you can learn more if you want <coughs> now the task what we are given with is uh, will be given a date and we have to find the day on that date okay what was the date what is the date or what will be the date uh, those things and the input will be given in uh, uh, in in this format mm dd y y y y okay so month date and uh, year they are they will be separated by space okay the constraint is year has to be between 2000 to 3000 and the output we have to uh, write the day in capital letters for example 8 5 uh, 2015 was wednesday okay so fifth is the day eighth is a month and 2015 is the year you can see august 5th 2015 was wednesday <coughs> so for any date you should be able to find out the uh, day okay so let me do it python 3 now as always first we should import calendar calendar and uh, then uh, what we can do is uh, we have to use uh, weekday okay so what is the benefit of using that is uh, you will directly give the input as month year and date and it will uh, give you the, the the day directly okay so i'll show you first i'll take the input input dot uh, split Okay, and uh, I am calling it as uh, let's say I N. No, uh, not I N. Let me uh, input date. Okay, and uh, then what we have to do is we have to use uh, calendar module. So why it is showing uh, dash one minute? How do you import it? Import calendar C A L E N D A R C A L E N D A R. Oh, okay. 
spelling was incorrect so now we can use uh, uh, day of interest day of interest variable just i am writing something random and we can use calendar dot weekday this weekday and here we can define in uh, year month and date okay so let me show you again in calendar module we saw uh, weekday right control f week day week uh, day html calendar uh, where is weekday set first weekday and this this weekday okay so here you can see that uh, directly uh, you will feed the year month and day and you will get the day of the week directly where zero uh, it will be given in a number form so uh, zero means monday i'll show you so it's year month and day and how we are getting the input uh, first element is month second element is day third element is zero one two okay so two uh, input date two and then what is the uh, input month month is first guy i'll take this i'll take and control v control v so month 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 will be getting uh, in sec first means zero month and then day day is first so it's in list form right so that's why i'm doing in this fashion so already bracket was there so i'll use a uh, dark mode which i really like uh, dark mode and begin Let's zoom out mm, now it will be better so we can see the whole code and we can even see the the calendar here so i'll i'll show you the output as well print the input uh, date input date and here i'll print day of interest day of interest so that you will see how they both look like and how i am using this okay let me run this hmm oh, okay uh it is str type so i have to convert it into int so let me do it so int so uh, it is uh, in list uh, uh, the, the the input is in str form right so here i will do int you can do above as well so no issues and then int okay so now it will be fine processing processing taking too much time okay so here you can see we have provided 8 5 2015 same input 8 5 2015 and uh, what we are getting at the output is 2 2 means 0 means monday so 1 will be tuesday 2 will be wednesday wednesday should be the answer yeah wednesday is the answer now we have to convert this number into into the days right uh, monday tuesday wednesday so i'll use if else statement so if my day of interest is equal to is equal to zero then i'll print print monday monday all should be in capital that is uh, the requirement now i'll copy six times control c control v control v control v let me write these guys so 1 2 3 and 4 
this is monday this is uh, tuesday uh, tuesday okay let me write it later on first i'll set it everything the format and uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday yeah four five then six monday tuesday wednesday then uh, thursday thus t h u r thursday friday saturday and sunday right so monday tuesday wednesday spelling is corrected wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so from 0 to 6 it is going so 0 means uh, monday 6 uh, means sunday so let me do it and i'll uh, comment these guys so we can see we have done it let me write the constraint as well so how we should write okay so if input date input date to that's integer type right integer input date uh is less than 2000 or or the same thing the same thing if it is greater than 3000 greater than 3000 then print year is out of range year is out of range right here is out of range so input if integer input i uh, this so this is actually uh, taking the year and since it is in a string format it is converting into int okay so we also have to look for less than equal to greater than equal to it should not be equal to as well okay so if this is the this is the constraint and uh, this is the module module we are using here and uh, we are printing it let's run it so yeah a sample case case is pass all the all the uh yeah all the constraints are fine now we can submit it so all the test cases are pass you can see uh uh okay congratulations so now he, here you can see this was our zero test case let's look some other test case i'll unlock so here what they are checking for 2059 okay 12 25 so 25th december 20 59 is thursday so our output is correct <clears throat> okay so this was the calendar module now there is something i want to go extra here see uh what we have done is basically use this line right there is no learning in this this uh, this uh, task i would say uh, you you are actually using the already build up calendar thing and you based upon the output you are deciding whether it was monday sunday tuesday uh, that's all right so even if you do else if the two will work else if because in this case in previous case it was checking for all the conditions else if so in this case what will happen if it will find uh, its um, uh, day is 3 and it will print thursday it will not go down previously it was going down as well so this would be the correct answer let's submit it so all the test cases are passed Uh, so what i was telling you is <clears throat> uh, we are not uh, learning anything uh, we don't know how it is calculating the day day right this this day how the calendar module is coming up with 
uh, we are not aware of means like how this guy is working we don't know we just feeding the values year uh, day date and we are getting at the output uh, um, it, uh, it was Wednesday or Thursday so what I want to do is I want to write it from scratch uh, we want to build a calendar type thing okay I mean um, uh, I, I, I will even if I'll have any any year let's say this constraint is uh, not met let's say I want to know about uh, year 1000 year 4000 year 5000 and I want to know what was the date in 18th July then it should be able to say see it's not uh, necessary of already we have done the task but uh, I'm going one step ahead and uh, one step extra you can say going further beyond uh, so that you will learn actually something here we are not learning anything so I'll, I'll um, give you the algorithm first uh, in pen paper mode how to calculate the day of a date and then we wanna code it okay from scratch we wanna build it so that you will see how things are working uh, I don't know whether this module is working in the same way but I have uh, one of the algorithm which I was searching in internet and I found that is a very good uh, uh, learning uh, I can apply here in this in this question so I will take that and I will um, first explain the algorithm how to find it and then we are gonna code it okay so yeah so yeah hmm. 